Hey guys, it's your girl Risa coming to you today. I'm getting ready to make um, some chicken, uh, kind of like a chicken soup for Galen. Um, so I got some chicken wings in my pot. Hey suckers, welcome everybody. It's one of those days y'all. It's one of those days. Tell God all about it Tuesday, okay? All right. So let me share with y'all what I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to be out of frame a lot. So y'all don't need to see this right here. Y'all just want to see what I'm doing right. All right. So here we go. Got a couple of carrots that I'm going to peel and put over in here. I have some beef base. Some chicken base. I got some onion, celery, garlic, and bell peppers. And here I'm going to pulse. I'm going to use this chicken bouillon, some black pepper, some salt, some onion powder, and we're going to get it moving, okay? All right, so got my chicken on, and I'm going to turn my pot on, and I'm going to get some water. I'm going to start off with, I think eight cups of water do me good. Chicken has already been washed. That's four. Might not need eight because I don't want to cover my chicken completely up. But I just might. I'm going to go ahead and put four in here. And then, because that did kind of almost come up to the top of the meat. So, but I need a lot of liquid so that it can come together. So, what I got so that's seven cups so I have the extra cup over there okay so I turn my pot on so I'm gonna go ahead and get my get my um, and I'm gonna use a kitchen tablespoon okay or cereal spoon whatever soup spoon whatever you want to call this and I'm gonna use I'm not gonna level it I'm just gonna get a uh oh to me, that's a tablespoon. Now, all the measurement gurus out there, y'all already know. Okay. That's what I call a tablespoon. So let me go ahead and paste this. Okay, in here I have one palm size onion. Okay, some people may call it large, some people may call it small. I call it a a small onion, one the palm of your the size of your palm. Okay, I have one stalk of celery, I have five cloves of garlic, and I have one hand size bell pepper. Okay, depend on how big your hands are. Okay, so we got that another spoon because I put that in the water and I'm not going to use a lot of this because I'm not trying to make it taste like beef but I got just a little bit okay now let me see I have a measuring spoon so let's see that's about a half a teaspoon I got it in there and this is a half a teaspoon no this is one teaspoon so about a teaspoon okay Okay, we got that going. Now, I'm gonna add another my tablespoon of my mixture, put it right in there. And the rest of that I'm gonna add and put in my little storage container for later. Okay, and here's my storage container. So let's get to some seasonings, y'all. All right, onion powder. It's time for me to redo my spices. I got a tablespoon, okay? That's one, one tablespoon of onion powder, okay? 
I am gonna add a um the other day I made some neck bones for Galen and made him a soup and I added a beefy onion soup mix. It can be any brand. I know I like Lipton. And I'm gonna add one a half of one of these to start with. And once I taste it, because I have a lot of other seasonings, that's what's gonna let me know whether I should add the rest. So let's see. I can find another tablespoon. So that's one. So it's about two tablespoons in here. So I'm going to start off with one tablespoon because I have just a little bit left for that. Okay. Um, black pepper. Don't want to make it too spicy because he is dealing with that tooth. I know he likes black pepper, but I just don't like to overwhelm my food with black pepper. So this is a half a teaspoon. And I'm, that's just going to be a pinch. Okay. That wasn't even, that was probably like a, an eighth of a teaspoon. Okay, um, we're going to add a little bit of, hmm, let's see what else, my garlic parsley. And I'm going to use the half a teaspoon, okay. Now, y'all know the weather has been iffy, and if at any point, child, you got some chicken, you want to make you a soup. Put this on, let it simmer. It don't take long for chicken wings to boil, y'all. I like to let mine cook for about, it's right, it's going to, let me see, it's 6 o'clock. So, by 7.30, we'll be ready to eat, okay? I want my chicken to fall off the bone. That's just me. I'm going to add carrots and I'm going to add potatoes to my mixture. Now, I do have a video of making chicken broth. I was making some chicken for Galen one night. And it's just something, everybody don't like the same seasonings, but it's just something that I know he likes. For me, I can add different seasonings, but I know what he likes, so. Now, of course, I am gonna eat some of this. Yes, ma'am. I got some green beans simmering over here that I had in the freezer. And they have smoked neck bones in it. And I'm going to add one of these carrots in there and let that simmer. And a few potatoes because that's the meal right there in itself. You know. I want to give a big shout out to my girl West Indian Delights. She got her plaque, her silver plaque, you guys, for getting 100,000 subscribers. Ooh, I'm so happy for her. She did a live broadcast. I've now seen that she got her plaque. And that is just wonderful. That is amazing. It is truly amazing. I know Gina. I don't know if Gina got hers or not. I think she do. My boy Ray Mack. <laughs> y'all doing it. I'm so happy for you guys. I'm proud of y'all. Y'all keep pushing. Keep pushing. You guys, and I'm excited because my husband informed me today that we are almost at 39,000 subscribers. I mean, like, woo. One more thousand, y'all, and we be at 40,000. Boo, baby. Stank a bus, okay? <laughs> that is amazing. And I'm going to. Carrots rinsed off. So my pot is already boiling. We're going to cut the butts and the tips off of these carrots. It smells so good in here, y'all. Ooh. It just takes me back to the days when I was little. And my granny used to make that boiled chicken. Child, and throw them noodles over in there. Oh. 
chicken and noodles or chicken and dumplings. I don't really like chicken and dumplings. I don't like the that wet dough. So we're gonna put a few of these. Oh my goodness, that smells good. I'm gonna put about three of those in there because Gavin is not a big carrot fan. I know I am. I'm gonna put these in the green beans. Maybe we'll put two more because I eat that. Okay. We got the butts and the tips off of these. I used to come home from school and grandma used to have that house smelling like, oh my word, like your stomach, you could be down the street, okay? And it, it just be hidden. You know somebody throwing down. Now, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not one of them kind of people that brag and boast like that. But I'm here to tell y'all. I didn't used to smell nobody else cooking like that. Okay? Granny used to have the whole block lit up. You knew. And they used to come, Ammo, I smell you. You cooking something. And I never once saw my granny turn anybody away. If she did, I didn't see it. They used to come over, and I guess that's where I get it from. Used to come over and get a plate to eat. And if she had a dessert, if she hadn't made anything, she always kept like little Debbie snack cakes in the cabinet. Okay? Always had them in the cabinet. And she would give little Debbie snack cakes. That's why I like the ones, the little devil squares. Oh my goodness. That's one thing about this stove. When water boil over on that bad boy, it get the sizzling and popping, pop, lock, and dropping. <laughs> All kind of stuff. So I'm going to taste my broth. I know this kind of... I might need to wait because that chicken's still a little bit raw. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit because I don't need it to be scorching hot. But we got that. Um, I don't think I'm going to add any other type of seasoning. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Y'all heard me say I don't think, right? <laughs> uh, ooh, they got a lemon garlic. I'll put a little bit of that in there. That's gonna be good. So we're gonna let this cook. Where's my adobo seasoning? I can't even reach it. Oh. Hold on, y'all. Almost made a mess. And this is an all purpose. I got the all purpose seasoning. Oh, that went straight up my nose. And I got give me a little, just a, a little pinch of that. Okay, that's enough. So that's all I'm going to add. We're going to let this cook. And. I'm going to go ahead and get myself set up to, I got some um, boneless skinless chicken breasts. I'm going to go ahead and cook those up. So I'll be back. Okay, you guys. So my chicken is boiling. I'm getting ready to do the other part, other part of my meal. I got my green beans on, which is some I already had in the, I just thawed, thawed them out, put them in the pan, added some carrots. I'm getting ready to mix some um, great value scalloped potatoes and some three cheese. Um, potatoes so I added some butter to my pan and I got my water heating up and I'm gonna add a little bit of um, butter to it and some Parmesan this Kraft grated Parmesan Romano and Asiago cheese so I have another box I don't think it's all gonna fit in this pan so We'll just see how much this come up to, and then I'll decide whether I use it. And I like to get my water scorching hot, and I also let it sit for a little bit before. So this might might be yeah that's enough i can always buy another box for the meal um so this is what i'm gonna do 
this is what we're having for Tuesday night dinner. So, got that. Let me get a bowl. Don't burn yourself, son. Okay. It's hot. Can you help me get the chicken boy on it? Here, baby. That's my and, love. And the black pepper. Hold on. Don't want to burn myself. There you go. So, let me get some milk. And I'm just going to add some milk. I'm not going to even measure. Just if you buy it, you know, of course you follow the, the directions on the box. I don't even know how much that is. I'm going to set it aside just in case I need some more. Let me get a butter knife. Put some of this butter. A few tablespoons. I'm gonna take one of these packs to add it to this, and the other, I'm gonna mix a little bit in with my milk. You talking about stinky? Stinky, stinky, stinky. So you have, you want to kick this up a notch, and you got some, you got some meat, like some already cooked ham or chicken or something like that, or some turkey, or even some smoked sausages that you've already cooked. You want to add them to that. So you got you a meal. Throw you some shredded cheese on it and in it. You can saute you some onion. Some mushrooms and add it all to that. There you go. Get this kind of mixed in. Now, what I like to do is add a little bit of cornstarch. Buy some more silverware, spoons and forks, knives again because they grow legs and walk. Okay, that's coming to a ball now. On the box, it says to use. Um, two cups of boiling water, so that's four cups of boiling water. And I'm going to catch it before it starts sizzling, or it starts uh, whistling. Okay. Put the rest in the sink. one of my habits I pour a hot water in the sink <coughs> stuff in the fall. okay so you're gonna pour this over so that butter can start melting I'm gonna cut it short okay because I got this milk I'm gonna add as well. Sometimes I will 
know, cut down on the amount of water that I put in. Careful, son. Sorry. It's okay. Pick it up. Okay. You just, you just fell in the middle. Butter down in there. Make sure you get all your powdered cheese. Okay, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of this on there. Get it stirred in. One thing I like to do. Sometimes it's make it a little bit spicy. So I add some jalapenos to it. And I'm gonna do that. Let me get my jar. plastic spoon we keep it here we put a lot that's enough right there Then go from there. Put it back in the fridge. Okay. So I still ended up with the same amount of water left. A cup. Just in case I need it. Put this little cone of milk back. And I'm gonna get myself ready. Put this in the fridge. Get me ready to um let that sit. Get this other chicken. Clean this area up so that I can get my chicken on. Don't think I'm gonna do any cornbread because I just had some the other night. But my oven is preheating. And then, um, the bell went off a little bit, a little bit ago. It's that mixture, honey. Keep it red and handy. When I need it. Don't want to leave too much in here. I don't need all the liquid. I just need the, the meat. We got the meat. Let's see. It might get juicy. There we go. In the fridge you go. In the sink. All right. 
right, we got action. So I'm gonna get set up, y'all, and I'll be back when I'm getting ready to do my chicken. Okay, I got some boneless, skinless chicken breast. I put some oil on my tray. And I turned it up because I wanted it to be hot when I lay it on there. So we're just going to lay these on here. And I've been having them marinating in the refrigerator. I got all kind of seasoning on these bad boys. Garlic. A little bit of everything. Lemon pepper. Add a little bit of um, kicking chicken on the outside. Just a little extra. these going. I added a little bit of vegetable oil just to grease the surface. Just trying to make sure they're not sticking. So my chicken is going over here, coming along, not quite ready. Mm. That smells so good. Just for a little bit of color on the chicken, I'm going to sprinkle a little black pepper. I don't know why, but like when I boil chicken, the chicken that's on the very top, I like to sprinkle a little black pepper on it to see a little color on it. Okay, so we got green beans. We got this. It's going to have potatoes and carrots in it. We got the scalloped potatoes, and we got our grilled chicken. This is for the kids. Um, me and Galen going to eat that with some green beans. I'm not eating the scalloped potatoes. And that's going to be that, y'all. Let's see what kind of color we got going on here. Coming along. I don't care whether you're frying chicken, pork chops. Never use a fork if you can help it. You can get tongs for a dollar, a dollar tree, okay? Never use a fork because you don't want to release all your juice. Okay. I'm going to let that go. I'm going to put my lid on it. And I put my lid on it because I want it to steam a little bit. You know, and once that steam... Um, is is um it's formed in there that steam is gonna help cook that it's gonna steam that chicken that's why you want to get a little bit of crust on the outside okay that's that's my amateur opinion okay 
All right, so I think that's it for right now, y'all. I got to bust some suns. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so my chicken is done. Okay, I'm going to turn it down low. And it's done because the chicken just pulls away from the bone real easy. You don't have to let me grab one. You don't have to do a whole lot. See how easy that is? It's done just the way I like it. Okay. And back here are my green beans with carrots, potatoes, and smoked neck bones, and a few uh, smoked pigtails. That's that. gonna be good too yeah sorry you guys so here's my chicken I turned it off and I'm gonna go ahead and take them out we're gonna let them rest they are done person can get a piece some of them are real thick so that's that and my scalloped potatoes are next okay guys my dinner is ready my scalloped potatoes been out maybe a minute or two and look at that mm -hmm. look at that jalapenos and cheese all of that good stuff y'all here's my chicken And here's our ball chicken, carrots, and potatoes. That's what baby's going to eat. And there are green beans. So I'm going to go ahead and fix my plate. Okay? I'm going to do a little bit of this right here. Two pieces of chicken. Some carrots and potatoes. Now look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the same spoon. All y'all grown the folks, close your eyes. Get a little bit of green beans. Ooh. Put it right over here with that chicken. I got to have me a piece of this smoked meat, y'all. Just get down here to the bottom. Hold on. Get my plate. We're going to put this bad boy on the plate. Because he's going to get eight. That's that. Okay. I got that. Get me some of these potatoes. No, I better not bother the potatoes. I better not bother the potatoes. But I'm going to go ahead and get me another piece. This kind of chicken. I know y'all like that's a lot of yard bird. That's all right. I'm going to be good. So this is what I'm going to eat. Okay. This is my meal. So, it's all good, y'all. It's a whole mess. I'm going to take some pictures. And add it at the end. Thank y'all for watching. Good eats, y'all. Drop down and get your eat on, girl. Drop down and get your eat on, girl. Come on, y'all. Bye, sugar.